Hello, Cash Flowers. All right. Are you ready for a quick tutorial? Let's talk about making some products. Now, my favorite and easiest way that I know to accomplish that is using Canva.com, which is a free graphic design tool. So why waste any time? Let's get started. Now, if you're creating like shirts or whatever for Merch by Amazon, their dimensions are uh, 4,500 width by 5,400 height. Canva is limited to 5,000 either way. So let's just do 4,000 by 5,000. Click design and we're off to the races now. Let's pretend we're going to design a, a text-based design for a black shirt. So I'm going to go over here to background and I'm just going to select the color black so we can see what we're working with here. Now, there we go. So you're ready to slap some text on here. Again, just go over here to the left, select text, and you're going to want to go with add heading if you're, unless, okay, look, unless you see something down here you'd rather work with and I'll show that to you really quickly let's say you like this nice big bold text here where it says Michael Dale so I'm gonna click that and that will move over here to my design now it's way too small so just click uh, anchor point and drag it scroll up a little bit drag it there we go. Now there's some elements here that you may not want, like this class of 2021 part here. Just highlight it and press your delete key to get rid of it. This part, again, press delete to get rid of it. Highlight it first. It makes it a little bit easier. Now you can just customize this text here to say whatever you want it to. So there you go so you can also pay attention to what font it is by looking right up here it appears to be this league spartan font so you can always uh, just go with it from scratch instead of having to delete all that stuff and everything but sometimes you can get inspiration over here so I just wanted to let you know how to if you see something you like get rid of whatever you don't like all right, so I'm gonna trash this, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start from scratch with my text. So to get rid of this, I'm just gonna click the trash can icon here, and I'm gonna go up to add heading because I want to add my own custom text. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna just type out my what I'm using here. So this is a favorite quote of mine. All right, so, and I'm gonna squeeze it down a little bit. Just center that, and then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna find a font I wanna use. I like this chunk five really well. Now, all the fonts, and I don't even pretend to know how many there are in here, uh, more than 100 are all Google fonts and so they are approved for commercial use so I'm just gonna go with this chunk 5 and I'm going to make it bigger let's go with 72 now I'm just gonna drag this up some Let's scroll back down a little bit so if I can get this centered on the page there we go alright so think we can go bigger let's try this now you can see it's run off the page but there's a lot of space in between here so let's see if we can adjust the line spacing and fit it all on there so you just go to spacing and then you drag the line height over a bit yeah I think we can definitely get the entire design on there so I'm gonna drag it up 
Now it's already centered vertically. I want to center it horizontally. And there we go. Once you see those dotted lines and the and the plus like that, you know that your design is centered both vertically and horizontally. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've clicked off of it to let it save. Sometimes uh, Canva can get a little wonky, and when you save, like your fonts may not or your text may not save the way you had it last in the program. So anyway, I'm ready to save this. I'm going to go up to download. I definitely want a PNG. Now, if you pay for Canva for work, you can actually download this uh, transparent without the background. But, you know, everybody can't always afford to pay for every little tool you use online. So I'm going to show you how to remove the background free. Before I do that, I just want to show you how you can... Uh, make this so that it's for a white shirt. So we designed this. This will look great as white text on a black shirt, right? So let's flip it around. So I'm going to make my background white. Click over on background. Just click this white square here. And you see by doing that, Canva automatically changes my text to black for me. So there you have it. I can now put this text on a white background, on a white shirt, a, a pillowcase, a tote bag, a coffee mug, whatever. So I'm going to go back because it's going to be easier for me to show you how to remove the background with the black. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click back to black. Again, automatically it changes that for me. And I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PNG file. Then I'm going to head over to pixlr.com slash editor. Now, this site uh, requires that you have Flash running, so just keep that in mind. Uh, this is just a free, basically a free um, graphics editor that's not unlike Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop or GIMP or something like that, you can use this completely free online. So let's open an image from our computer, which is going to be one of these that we just made. Again, I'm having problems with um, Canva not saving my text the way that I had it last. So you can see I got my text here the way that I want it. They're having a problem today. They're not saving it correctly. So please just disregard that for this video. I usually don't often have these types of problems with them, so we'll just work with what we have. So let's just pretend this looks right. Now, we want what we want to do here is remove our black background. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is select the wand tool, and then we're going to click in the black area. And what that's going to do is select all of the black area that's connected right here. You'll notice that the, the black areas that are inside letters, like right here, are not selected. Anyway, so you, you click in the black area, and once your selection shows up, press the delete key, and it's going to get rid of that background. Now, if you have letters where you need, need to go in and get rid of the black in these holes, uh, you do it the same way with your wand tool. Click there, select it, press delete, and you just repeat that for each one. Once you have them all done, and this is running off the page a bit here. Uh, I can't believe Canva wouldn't uh, cooperate with me today. I was making YouTube thumbnails like crazy earlier without any problems. All right, so I, I've deleted all of the black using the wand tool. Um, now I'm ready to save this. And so when I go in to do that, I'm going to save it. It's going to be as a PNG transparent, full quality. And I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do is just save this over the one that I downloaded from Canva, which was also a PNG file. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. Yes, I sure do. 
And when I go back in here, whoops, sorry about that. When I go back in here, you're going to see I have it right here. This is from a previous video um, that messed up. But anyway, yes, this is take two. Anyway, you can see that the background of my desktop is showing through. So it is indeed transparent, unlike this one, which has a black background. So that's what you need to upload to whatever t-shirt platform or product platform you're using. Uh, same way goes with if you had chosen to go with the black text for white shirts or light colored shirts, you remove the background the exact same way. So that's going to do it for the short tutorial on how to to make text-based t-shirt designs from your PC. Um, just take a look in the show notes because I'm also going to have a quick one. You're going to use an app on your phone to create your designs and you'll remove the background this exact same way. So be looking for that. I'm looking forward to talking to you in the next video, so stay tuned.